Hello, hello! How we doing, guys? I hope everyone is doing great. You know, we over here making it into the week, grinding, and trying new carrot cake, baby. And today, finally, I have the good herb, which is in Roseville. And I am so excited because this is one of the restaurants that have been closed for a while due to COVID and the limitations. So it's really good to see one of the restaurants to open up back again. Uh, they're open back to 50% capacity, but uh, I've been trying to go to the carrot cake and finally they're open. So I'm super happy. Uh, I know there's some restaurants that have not make it. So it's good to see some of them coming back. And uh, yeah, and I love, this is one of my favorite places to eat in Roseville, everything, they, they take pride in using organic products and fresh items and everything tastes really good. So the good area in Roseville, a great place. Um, I have a little coffee that is selling there. This is a local coffee. It's called uh, uh, Morning Star. It's an organic coffee beans. And I think this is out of Minneapolis. So very nice. This is a cup of coffee from that company. You can buy the coffee there as well. So a uh, local company, so, and, and before we taste it, you know, today's shirt, uh, you know, it, it's kind of crazy because that's what I want to do to my phone today. I hate my phone today. It was, uh, I couldn't stop. So that made this carrot cake more special because, you know, when you have one of those days that you just need something to make you feel good, well, Go get yourself a slice of carrot cake after work and try somewhere new and support. So not only you're feeling good at supporting a local business, you, but you're feeling good filling your tummy out and your taste buds. So it's a win-win, baby. So that's why I'm wearing that shirt today. Uh, and here comes carrot cake. Ooh, let's do the preview. If you been to my social media page, you can see a whole, I took a picture of the whole cake. So you see what it looks like. But this is what the slice of cake looked like. Look at that. You can tell it's one layer. There's lots of junk in the trunk, baby, which I like. There's nuts on the frosting. There's pieces of raisin, carrots, coconut, so you can tell this this has been made from scratch. They made it there in house. You can tell by the color and everything else. The uh, frosting is a little dry, but I don't know. I never had a carrot cake before. So I'm super excited about this one. So as you know, I do the uh, rule of three. Try the batter, try something with the frosting of the second bite. And the last one, Try one with the whole thing, including the nuts, which I call the Naughty Professor. And here we go. I'm going to take a little sip of the coffee, coffee of Morning Star Coffee, which you can find there. And, and I hope that you guys share places that you've been. Uh, even though it's not the Twin Cities, Minnesota, but if you know any other states that have what you call the best carrot cake ever, let me know, cause you never know. I travel to a location, I will go out of my way to try it. All right, so let's check it out. Super excited about this one. Okay, here's the slice. You can't tell that it was made today. So fresh. Mm. Tastes like this brown sugar. Maybe some molasses. It's um very wholesome. Again, that's an indicator of a um uh, uh or a lot of organic products and 
you're gonna get that feel from the slice like that. It, it, you know, I call it the healthier carrot cake slices are like this. But I love the freshness. I cannot really tell any more about it, but let's see what the first thing really tastes like. Ah, this coffee is good. The coffee hours go so well. Uh, but, so I gotta take a meter slice with some of the frosting. As you can see. Can you see it? Can you smell it? Oh my God, I got a piece of raisin stuck on my teeth on the front one. So I'm afraid to smile right now. Junkie. I cannot taste the uh, cream cheese that much. Mm. I guess I have to wait for the last bite to see what I... The cream cheese don't taste like cream cheese. Um, I had to do that because the rating really was stuck in there. Drive me crazy. Okay, we'll see. The, I don't get into many spices, so I don't get the traditional carrot cake spice. But regardless, it's, it's a very wholesome slice and it's fresh, which I like. All right, so I'm definitely getting a junk in the trunk on this one. Lots of naughty puffers and lots of, of cream cheese. This is a heavy slice, baby. This will do it. The cream cheese, the frosting is not really cream cheese. So that I wish it was different. I mean, the cake batter is good. It needs more spices and the frosting needs to be taste more like cream cheese. So for that reason, I don't, um, I have to give it some points for being fresh and being so wholesome meaning that it has organic product. So you almost feel like uh, this is a healthier carrot cake slice, but because it's missing the essential things, which is the cream cheese, uh, it's a little bit dry and the spices. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one um, the five, no, mm, let me see. I get this one 5.5. .5 just because i think if they um work on the cream cheese and maybe some put more nuts in the outside and more spices this can become easily a much higher score but anyways i will eat it you know for breakfast or whatever uh, i know uh maybe in pancakes you never know but that's my score and then let's go let's continue to support these small businesses Let's try places to eat because they need them more than ever. And uh, yeah, it's going to be all good. And we they're going to get back on their feet just like we're going to get back on the feet. So share, let me know coffee places and more carrot cake places to try. Thank you for watching, guys. Woo!